welcome or welcome back to my channel Jen on a budget if you are new my name is Jen I'm a zero based cash budgeter and in my channel I do cash stuffing saving challenges and anything money related today I'm going to be cash stuffing the first paycheck of July and I'm also going to be announcing the winner to my 1000 subscriber giveaway so stay tuned for that okay so let's go ahead and get started so I have the money here I'm going to bring out the calculator and count this for you guys. So I have 100, 200, 300, 50, 150, 200, 50, 350, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, so 440, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 1, 2, three four five six seven and eight so we are cash stuffing one thousand two hundred fifty eight dollars and before i begin the cash stuffing let me go ahead and announce the winner to this giveaway So congrats to the winner. I will be contacting you for your address, information, all of that good stuff. And thank you guys so much for all of you guys who have entered and for your love and support in this channel and my Instagram. All right, let's go ahead and get started. As I am going through these binders and cash stuffing them, I'm going to be explaining each envelope to all my new subscribers and new followers. So starting off with phone, phone is going to get 28. So 20, 5, 6, 7, 8. My phone bill is 54 to $55 a month. And it's only my line. I don't share a line with my husband or I don't have a family line. I only have my own line to worry about. So now phone has 25, 6, 7, 8. So $28. Okay, debt. This is for my personal loan. Debt is not getting anything because I just paid for that. Credit card is for obviously credit card payments. It has 50 and today it's going to get another 50. So it has 50, 100. So I have three credit card lines. I have American Express. Um, I also have Chase and I also have Capital One. Life insurance is going to get 25. And my life insurance is about $50 a month. So 20 and five. So now life insurance has 20, 40, 50. $50 in life insurance. Next is water and water is going to get 40. So in my household, it's me, my husband and our two kids. I pay part of rent and he pays the rest of rent and then I'm in charge of the water bill and the garbage bill, and he's in charge of PG&E and cable. So that's how we split the bills. Now water has 20, 40, and $60. Next is garbage, and garbage is going to get 20. And I'm in charge of this bill. And someone asked before, what is a garbage bill? So we have three large bins at our house and we fill those three bins with all of our trash, trash, compost, recycling, and then the garbage trucks come and empty out the bins for the week. So now garbage has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 in garbage. And my water bill and garbage bill is due every three months car this is for my car insurance or car registration so i'm going to be cash stuffing ten dollars i just paid for my insurance and i know that my registration is coming up 
So that's that. Taekwondo is my son's extracurricular activity. He does Taekwondo and his monthly payment is $200 a month. So I'm in charge of the monthly tuition fees for his Taekwondo and my husband is in charge of all the competition fees. So Taekwondo is going to get 100 and that is all that it has. And that is all for my bills binder. Oh, someone asked if I do pay rent or a mortgage bill. I do pay rent and my part of rent is $1,200. In all, both me and my husband pay $2,800. And it's, yes, it's very, very, very expensive here in the Bay Area. But actually, we are very lucky because nowadays rent is about $3,000 a month, which is more than a mortgage payment so that's what i pay for rent and yeah it's going okay we're not struggling or anything it's just it's very expensive moving along to my variable funds binder so i call this binder the wallet that i don't carry around instead of carrying the whole thing in my purse and having all this money i only take out the funds I plan on using. So if, for example, if I need to go to the groceries, I only take out whatever is in the food category. So I'll go through each one. Food is going to get $300 and this is for grocery shopping, eating out. And for those of you who don't know, I do get paid on a bi-weekly basis. So this money will have to last me for the next two weeks. I think for my next um, cash stuffing, I'm going to be splitting my bi-weekly paychecks in half. So 200 and then we'll do 20s, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 100. So now food has 100, 50, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 314 dollars and I do have money left over from last week so I plan on using rolling that over and using it for this week. Some budgeters they like to take it out and cash stuff into their savings or they like to use it in other categories. Shopping, this is for anything that I like, if the kids want something, if I want something, anything that we need in the household, I'll pull from this envelope. And shopping today is going to get 60. So we'll do 50 and then two fives. Now shopping has 20, 40, 50, 60. $60 in shopping. Beauty is going to get $40, 20, 30, 40. And I rarely get my nails done. I'm actually wearing press on, so this is new. I actually like it. I like the long nails. So maybe in the future I will get my nails done, but I mainly get my lashes done. So I'm a lash gal. So now Beauty has 20. 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40. So 140. And typically my lash fills, if I do a touch up, it's 20. But if I go on a monthly basis, it's like 120. I know it's expensive, but it's important to have take care of yourself and have something for you if you know what i mean so like whether it's getting your nails done getting your lashes done your toes done it's very important to take care of yourself kids this is for my son or my daughter for now it's my son because i know he likes to get a lot of candy little toys and kids is getting five dollars now kids have five ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. $15 in kids. Fun, this is for date night or if a family night. If we go to the arcade, I'll pull out of here. 
and today it's getting 20. I used this envelope last week because my cousin took my son out to the arcade and that is all that it has. Miscellaneous, this is for things you didn't plan on spending. So for example, if you're empty in the fun envelope, you could use this envelope to replenish that money or you could just use it however you would please. So miscellaneous is going to get $20. Sorry if I'm pausing, I'm looking at like my budget breakdown in the screen and how much each envelope is getting. So now miscellaneous has 20, 40, 50, 5, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. $60 in miscellaneous, which is good. Okay, and that is all for my variable funds binder. Lastly, I'm going to be cash stuffing my sinking funds binder. So my sinking funds binder, I like to say, is like a long-term savings for an expense. For example, it, Christmas is coming up soon, very soon. I'm going to be cash stuffing my holiday envelope, but I will be taking it out once Christmas comes. So... I have all these categories where I know I'm going to be eventually in the future, I'm going to be pulling out of the envelopes and paying for whatever I need to pay for. Instead of going into each like savings account or tapping into my savings and using that money. So I'll use the money in my sinking funds binder. Emergency, aside from the money that I have in this envelope, I have a separate account for emergencies. So I have a... Um, high yield savings for that and emergency today is going to get 50 and now emergency has 100 200 350 400 50 70 85 485 in emergency and i like to keep track of each categories in this binder because i know i don't pull from this binder often so it's good to keep track of everything and watch it all add up. Vacation is going to get 175. So we'll do 150, 75. And by the time you are watching this video, I'm already in Florida. I went for my son's Taekwondo competition. So when I come back, hopefully I'll still have money left in this envelope. And now vacation has 500. This is a placeholder. This represents money in the bank. So $500, 6, 7, 800, 900, 1,000, 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 30, 40, 50, 65, 1,165. I think that's right. But hopefully I only use half of this cash instead of all of it because we are going to be pretty busy in florida okay holiday is going to get 30 and this is just for fourth of july which already came i didn't use the money here easter um halloween thanksgiving christmas if i need funds for any of those holidays then i'll pull out of this envelope so 20 30. now holiday has 20 40 60 80 120 30 40 50 60 70 85 so 185 dollars i plan on using this envelope when for christmas Birthdays is going to get 20. I use this envelope for friends and family members aside from my kids and my husband. So whenever I need a gift, I'll pull out of here. Now birthdays has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 15. So 115 in birthdays. If I need something for like my husband or my kids on their birthday and it's something little, little, like a little cake, then I'll pull out of here as well. Car, this is for my car maintenance. I was very notorious for just 
pulling money out of here constantly for gas but i really want to build this up just in case something does happen to my car and it's getting 20. just recently one of the tail lights went out and i had to change the bulb it wasn't that expensive it was like only 30 dollars. so now car has 50 70 90 105 so 105 in car i didn't have any money in this envelope at the time so i had to pull from other envelopes so it's very important to have a car maintenance envelope medical which is for copays any medicine we may we might need medicine in the pharmacy so medical today is going to get 10. now medical has 20 40 60 70 70 dollars in medical school is for my son's school um it's going to get ten dollars now school has 20 30 40 dollars he used to go to a private school but now he's actually going to a charter school he got accepted into a charter school and i did my research and everything like that their test scores and everything are like average above average and in order to stay in that school you have to do good in school so i'm very happy so this is just for any school supplies any clothes he might need for school jj is my son he's seven years old and this is for his birthdays so I, i'll pull out of here for his birthdays or if he needs any stuff for taekwondo or if he wants a huge toy then i'll pull out of here but i really try not to i just want to keep building this up and aside from my kids envelope in this binder they also have a savings account so he is going to get 50. so now he has 100 200 300 400 525 so 525 Janelle, which is my daughter, she is one. So like I said, she also has a savings account. This is just extra money in case I need diapers for her or I'll pay for her birthday party. I'll pull out of here too. So she is also going to get 50 and I like to keep their envelopes even. I know for a long time they were not even. So now just recently, I just made their amounts even. So she has 100, 200, 300, 400, 20, 40, 50, 60, 525. So 525 in her envelope as well. Joel is my husband and he is going to get 20, I think. Let me make sure. So $20. And the only time I ever use this envelope is for his birthday. Now he has 20, 40, 60, 80, 95. He had just had his birthday recently, so his envelope is looking pretty small compared to <laughs> my kids. Next is my envelope, and I'm going to get 25. And I plan on using this envelope for my birthday that's going to be coming up in December. I plan on getting a tattoo, so this is the money that I'm going to be using that for. So now I have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 40, 50, 60, 75, 175 in my envelope. Lastly is my savings challenge envelope. So this envelope is the one that's not laminated. And this is for any savings challenge that I'm doing at the moment. I am doing the scratch off challenge. So I do have extra money left over and whatever money that I have left is gonna go towards my vacation. So some budgeters, they like to scratch whatever is on in the savings challenge and then cash stuff for next time i like to just scratch it and then cash stuff so i'm going to scratch the savings challenge right now so 
So let's do five dollars. I'm going to do one more. Mm, how about this one? Okay, twenty-five dollars. And I think I'm going to stop there. I don't want to scratch off another one and then get a big number. So $30. And I got this savings challenge from Sam's Crafts and Customs. I'll leave that information or her information down below. So in this savings challenge, I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. $90 and the total for this challenge is $500. Okay, and like I said, I have money left over. So I'm going to go to back to my vacation envelope and put the rest of the money in here. What is left? So I have what's left, 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So $50 left. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I recently just opened up my shop. So go ahead and check that out. It's a very soft opening. I did a lot of 100 envelope challenges and I've lost sleep over it. So... Now vacation has 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 1,215 dollars. But yeah, I gained a lot of followers because of the 100 envelope challenge and now everyone's asking for that challenge. So ask and you shall receive. <laughs> okay, and I also want to address something real quick. I get my fair share of haters in my Instagram and it really does not bother me at all. I find it funny sometimes. I really just don't have time to be answering everyone back or fighting because what I've told some budgeters is that when it comes down to the internet, you're never going to win. Like their opinion is going to be their opinion and the best thing you could do is just laugh it off. <laughs> Aside from that, if you are part of the budgeting community, you know that you have a lot of support behind you you have a lot of strong and powerful women and some men who are in this community and we just uplift each other everyone's so sweet we welcome each other and i can't thank them enough for all the love and support that they've given me here on my instagram and channel and pushing me to just keep on going and i've just developed so many good friendships throughout this journey of cash stuffing and budgeting so thank you all so much if you made it this far into the video i love you guys so much and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye <music>